Hi everyone, it's Taya. Welcome to my channel where you'll learn the best tips and tricks on studying, productivity, and organization. In my very first YouTube video, I told you that I would do a good notes versus notability video to help you decide on which note-taking app would be the best for you. Since the new semester starts soon, I felt like this would be the best time to release it. So without further ado, let's get started. Is a clear difference between how both apps allow you to organize your notes. Starting with Notability, there are dividers, which are the same thing as folders, and then there are subjects. Dividers hold subjects, and then subjects hold the notes. You can change the color of your subject, but there is a limited selection of colors. So now looking at GoodNotes, you can create folders. Each folder can hold notebooks or documents, images, anything that you create. GoodNotes gives you a ton of options for customizing your notebooks. There are a bunch of different paper templates. There's different covers for each notebook. Um, there's just a lot that you can play with in GoodNotes and one thing that I really like about the app. It's also important to note that both apps give you different options on how to sort your notes. In Notability, you can sort by name, date modified, or date created. On the other hand, GoodNotes allows you to sort by name, date modified, or the type, meaning notebook, image, etc. There was a time when Notability only offered vertical scrolling and GoodNotes only offered horizontal scrolling. But now both apps give you the option to decide which type of scrolling you would like to use. With note taking, I don't really see a big advantage or disadvantage to either scrolling style. I will mention that with vertical scrolling, you do run the risk of your writing being cut in half when you're exporting a document. Also, horizontal scrolling can be annoying for note taking if you do not want to lose your train of thought or get behind when the professor is going on and you are flipping the page. So when it comes to writing, both apps offer different pen styles. Looking at Notability, there are more styles. They recently added these two dotted lines or the like straight lines. This is really helpful when I'm drawing diagrams. On the other hand, in GoodNotes, it seems that they only have three different pen styles. You can also change the size of the stylus in both apps. One thing you should be aware of is pressure writing in both. So the app can pick up on how hard or lightly you are writing. So the harder you write, the thicker each stroke is. I find that this is more sensitive in GoodNotes and it can be really annoying because any change in how hard I'm pressing down will make a big difference in each stroke that I'm making. This can lead to your notes looking really messy and unorganized. So the zoom feature is available in both apps and this is my best friend in creating very clean and neat notes. The only thing I don't like about this in good notes is you can see a lag between when you're writing in the magnifying glass versus up top when it's being transcribed. So when it comes to highlighting, I would really say that GoodNotes beats Notability. When you highlight in GoodNotes, it brings the writing to the front, but also lets the highlighter be prominent. On the other hand, in Notability, your writing is still pretty bold, but it's very light highlighting. I find that I have to go over it a bunch of times in order to make it stand out. And this is annoying because it leads to uneven highlighting. Both GoodNotes and Notability have the option for erasing your entire stroke or only erasing partial. Both apps also give you the option to change the size of your eraser, which is really useful. One thing that, one thing that is exclusive to GoodNotes is the option to erase highlighter only. I think this is really useful, especially if you are the type of person that likes to highlight and go over your notes multiple times. Both apps include a search feature. This feature allows you to search through handwritten notes, type notes, words, and images. So you're basically searching any word or character that is within your notes. This is helpful when I'm studying and need to quickly find some information in my notes. It is 10 times faster than flipping through notebooks or having to go through all my digital notes. 
there is a shape feature in both good notes and notability you basically can draw a shape and hold and then it will turn into a nice clean looking shape i don't see a difference in how either of them work between good notes and notability both apps also have a lasso feature. This feature allows you to move things in your notes around the page. I don't see a difference between the lasso feature and notability versus good notes. Convert to text is offered in both apps. This is something that I don't really use, but I know that it can be helpful for other people. You basically just write whatever you want to write, select the text by using the lasso feature, and then click convert to text. One big difference between GoodNotes and Notability is Notability has the option for audio recordings. This is super important if you are in a lecture and your professor has given you permission. So instead of having to pull out your phone and record what they're saying, you can go directly into your notes, press the little recording button, and it will pick up on whatever your professor is saying, and then it is right in your notes. Notability and GoodNotes both give you the option to open a split screen within the app. In Notability, you just swipe left and you can choose from any of the notes and it gives you the option to open it on the left of the screen or on the right. This was a recent update in GoodNotes where you can choose to open another window. The split screen is super helpful when I'm creating study guides. It could be that there is information in another note that I need to copy out and I can just have both open. Notability gives you the option to quickly switch between two apps. Again, you just swipe to the left within the app and you can click on any note. This is useful when I need a small piece of information from another note. So, which is better? I know you all want a clear answer, but it is honestly entirely up to you. Both apps pretty much have the same exact features with a few differences that I pointed out in the video. It really just comes down to which difference was the deal breaker for you between the two apps. Now, I personally use GoodNotes for all of my note-taking needs. I found that GoodNotes had more tiers of organization, meaning that I could have a divider and then a subject and then put notes within the subjects, as opposed to GoodNotes where I could only make a folder and put notes within that folder. But for someone who is really into customizing their notes and how they look on the outside, GoodNotes would probably be the app for you because you could change how your cover looks within your folders. I also found that I did not like how my handwriting looked in GoodNotes. It was really messy in GoodNotes. In Notability, it looked closer to how my handwriting was on paper. If you're someone who already has super nice handwriting, this probably would not be a deciding factor for you. Now it's time for our very first giveaway. I want you to comment down below and tell me which app is your favorite and why. You will then be entered into a raffle and the winner of the raffle will receive good notes or notability for free. The rules and regulations for the giveaway are down below in the description. Good luck. Well, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can get the best tips and tricks on studying, productivity, and organization. As always, you can reach any goal you set for yourself as long as you give your all. And I'm here to give you the tools that you need to reach your goals. See you next time.